What's up YouTube? It's your boy Andre Hey guys, back with another video. Yesterday was my first video back for a long time. The support and the love was unbelievable guys, so I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. In today's video, we're talking about the Xperia 1, how well it fits in your trousers, in my jeans. I'll show you that guys. And also a couple of things that I like and I don't like with the phone that I have found out in the very short time that I've been using it. So guys, let's just get straight into today's video. So let's start off with the elephant in the room guys. So I've got the Sony Xperia 1 and I want to show you guys how well this phone fits in my sort of uh, jeans that I'm wearing today. So slides in really well uh, and in all honesty it does stick out just a little bit on the top guys. I don't know if you can sort of make it out. Um, other than that I don't have any issues at all. I can sort of uh, you know bend my knee up. It's not an issue. It sits really well. Just to compare I'll show you guys what the Tennis Max, the iPhone Tennis Max is like. So tucks in really well. Um, I would say the Tennis Max is a little bit more of inconvenience because it's wider, it takes up more of my sort of thigh space and then it just sort of sticks out a little bit um, as opposed to the Sony Xperia 1. I think this sort of sits a little bit better because it's thinner. I don't mind that it's a bit longer, but it just sort of sits on the thigh a little bit better. So even with a case, if I was to slide this in my pocket, I don't have any issues with that at all. It sits in very, very well. Uh, I can sort of sit down. Yeah, so that's my verdict, guys. I don't think this is an issue. So the second thing I wanted to show you guys is sort of internet browsing and just, you know, viewing content on a narrow display, what that is like. First of all, let's just take this case off because you guys came here to see this beautiful phone. When you're web browsing in sort of portrait mode, not an issue, you get to see a lot of content. Really, really great, I love this. The only time it becomes a bit of a problem is when you go to sort of landscape mode because it takes, uh, it's a narrow display. When you go to sort of search for things, the keyboard takes up sort of half of the screen. Uh, you have the search bar at the top there and then you, the actual web page you get to see very, very little of. So if you, you have an Excel page where you sort of fill in a lot of data, a lot of numbers, then this can become an issue as you'll, you'll struggle to see what's behind. Uh, you also have to type something in and then uh, go back and then you know, click on the next sort of row to type to add more text into it. But when it's in portrait mode, not an issue at all. A lot of content. Now this phone has a phenomenal display, but because of the aspect ratio, videos on the phone are cropped out. So you have your video with the black bars and you can see the top and the bottom of the video. Now if I sort of want to take advantage of that whole display, zoom in, you can see how much it crops out as to where my head is and where the sort of bottom of the display is. So if I zoom out, I got a little bit of a gap, you can see the wall at the top of my head, if I zoom in, it sort of cuts a little bit of the hair out, which is not an issue, but if you're having uh, a video where you have some important bit, then when you're zooming in, it does crop out quite a bit. It doesn't crop out anything on the sides, but it does on the top and the bottom. The next thing I want to share with you guys is gaming on this phone. So for example, PUBG, one of my favorite games to play on any mobile device. Um, it works really well and you do get more screen real estate because the phone is wider. So guys, just to show you a comparison, this is an iPhone uh, XS Max versus the um, Xperia 1. Now one thing that is rather annoying, I was playing this game last night guys because uh, I haven't played in a long time and I just wanted to try on this phone. You have this game center which sort of Sony have given you to sort of um, optimize uh, your performance for when you're gaming so you have different game modes uh, focus settings uh, screenshots and you can record your gameplay as well which is all great and fun but the thing is I don't use it and I'm not really sure how to turn this off so the best way that I found to sort of you know get rid of it as much as possible is just to sort of drag it in a corner um, but it's still on the screen I've, I found myself accidentally tapping it every now and then which can become quite annoying games on this phone work phenomenal guys this is the one thing I wanted to mention is this phone is ridiculously fast it's very very smooth and uh, I have this game on high settings the performance is unbelievable what I have found from other people is that not all games are optimized for the phone obviously uh, this is a new device a new aspect ratio so hopefully sort of uh, you know games will adapt to this phone as much as possible in the very very near future now the third thing that i wanted to share with you is just having this power button sort of on the bottom half of the phone and uh, especially compared to my uh tennis max which has the power button all the way up here going from this to my sony xperia one it does take a little bit of getting used to I keep having to sort of put my finger up there trying to press the power button to turn off the screen 
by end up pressing the volume button. In all honesty, I do think that this side is a bit cluttered. You have a lot of buttons, you have the fingerprint scanner, the power button, the camera, dedicated camera button. There's a lot going on. Uh, maybe it would have been a great idea to put the volumes on the left hand side just to sort of keep it a little bit simpler so you're not getting them confused but yeah I guess it'll take a little bit of getting used to. The next thing guys is how to put the phone onto silent, vibrate um, or you know get the ringtone on. Generally you would sort of slide from the top and you would have a, uh, a button, a dedicated button at the top. With this it's a little bit different, I couldn't find it yesterday so I spent some time trying to figure it out. All you do is you press the volume button and then you've got it just down here. So that would be uh, on silent, uh, volume on, and then vibrate. Right, the next thing I wanted to show you was the sort of switch in between apps. For instance, say that you have uh, an app open, so let's have Chrome open, and you wanna switch between the previously opened app, you can just slide onto the uh, bottom part here. So no matter how many times you do this, you can only switch between the last two apps. For instance, I have uh, three apps open here, uh, the settings app, however, it will never get to that. So it only switches between the first two apps which can make multitasking a little bit easier. So if you ever wanted to go further than two apps, you'll need to sort of slide up and then find the app. But this leads me on to the next thing, guys, and that is having the clear or button right at the end. If you have a ton of apps open, which I tend to do, having to scroll through all those apps just to get to the end to tap the clear or button is a little bit annoying. I would have loved if this was right at the front here, so it would just slide right and then clear all. Not a major thing, it's more of a software thing which can be fixed pretty easily. Now last night as I was playing with this phone I went into settings and settings actually asked me if I want to turn my navigation bar here at the bottom into the traditional navigation bar where you have the back button, the home button and then the multitasking button. Now I did that and it went into sort of the traditional button layout and then I wanted to go back and I could not find it for the life of me. So I'll show you this to save you some time. You wanna go into system, uh, gestures, and on here it's swipe up on home button. Turn that on and then you get these two buttons at the bottom. I've tried all day yesterday, uh, you know, searching for navigation bar, uh, but nothing came up, no results. Um, so I ended up spending a lot of time trying to figure this out. Now the one thing that I've really missed since owning my iPhone XS Max for a little while is the always on display. And when I saw it in this phone last night, I got really excited about it. And I've really missed having an always on display to give you that, those important notifications and just give you the time and the battery there. A little bit of a gimmick guys, but I, I really appreciate that. I really like that. Now when I put my phone to charge last night, I saw the little notification dot at the top of the screen. Very small, it's right up in the corner of the screen. And it just looks so nice. I really, really like that. Uh, when you take it off the uh, charge, the notification dot goes away and you can you cannot tell that there's anything there at all. Right, so that is my experience with the Xperia 1 from owning it for a very short amount of time. Anything else you guys wanna see with this phone, leave it in the comments down below. I'll aim to sort of respond as soon as possible. But if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you really, really enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button, guys. I appreciate all your support. Thank you for watching and have a good day.